We have Mr. Mohit Kapoor, head PEB Sales Steel Building and Solutions, APL Apollo Tubes Limited. Everyone, please give him a big hand. APL Apollo Steel Building Solutions for better and faster construction. Recently used to build a hospital structure in just 150 days. PWD planned five hospitals last year. Structural work at all the sites is almost done. The 1900 plus bedded GTB hospital was the largest built up area of more than 6 lakh square feet. Conventional construction technology would have been too time consuming. The pre-engineered steel tubes were selected to complete this challenging project in less time. 80 to 90 percent of the structure was built on four section sizes. Drywall and deck slabs were erected and cast on tubular steel structures. All steel fabrication work took place at fabricator workshops with zero on-site welding. Only structure assembly with high strength bolts. This was made possible only with APL Apollo Steel Building Solutions. Thanks to tubular construction that offered the perfect balance of speed, quality, cost and environmental friendliness. APL Apollo Steel Building Solutions give you lower project times, easier execution and structure optimization. APL Apollo Steel Building Solutions, a true revolution for future construction. So gentlemen, as you must have seen in our small AV that we represent here APL Apollo Steel Tubes Limited. We are India's largest steel tube manufacturer in terms of the market share that we have. So around 55% of the market share in MS steel tubes is with APL Apollo. And uh, our portfolio ranges from a 500 gram tube that is just 8 mm by 8 mm in 0.23 mm thickness for precision tools to a 1000 mm by 1000 mm size, 40 mm thick tube that is around 7 ton. So our portfolio of around 1500 SQs ranges from just a 500 gram tube used for automobiles and laboratory purposes to up to a 7 ton tube that is used for heavy constructions. So what we are here right now in the market is we say that we are here to revolutionize the construction industry and how do we plan to do that and how we are achieving that we will try and explain in next few slides and I will request you to please have certain of your queries aimed at us because as in past your queries have already always helped us to improve our quality. So see when we say about revolutionizing construction industry any project's outcome basically depends on four parameters. These are speed of the project so that there are no delays and the timelines are met. Then despite maintaining the speed the quality of the project and despite maintaining the speed and the quality the cost should not abnormally go beyond the roof. And last but not the least the environmental effects of any construction. See we are right now in a tremendous drive of infrastructure development in our country but there is no point doing construction which definitely going to harm our future generations. So our every project and every endeavor must have its environmental good effect and that is what steel construction and specifically APL has been aimed at. So just give you a brief glimpse of the tubular construction process flow. How it happens is specifically if we talk about our facility. So we are using a specially designed patented European technology called DFT direct foaming technology in which we just need the coil or the roll of specific grades specific thickness and specific lengths to directly cold foam any size of rectangular or square hollow tubes that are as per your designs. Traditionally speaking all other manufacturers of tube they are depending upon manufacturing a round tube and then compressing it into becoming a rectangular or hollow section. What are the if ill effects of that technology are four issues. Number one is 
extra lead time to first convert a coil into a round tube and then converting into a desired shape. And then when you convert a round tube into a rectangle or a square tube, then there are weight accumulation at all four ends. That increases by 2 to 8 percent depending upon the thickness and the dimension. And a major safety factor is when you are changing the shape of a cold form steel, then there are definitely going to be certain stress fractures or stress issues which may result in any catastrophe in case of an earthquake. And last but not the least, when you are dependent upon converting a round tube into a rectangle or a square section, then you are dependent on corresponding sizes only that can be created out of that diameter. We at Apollo have neglected this thing by reverse engineering in manufacturing of direct foaming technology in which we can hypothetically create any size by use of the specific grade and thickness. Then another thing that we have done by reverse engineering is providing cut to length sizes from 5 meter up to 12 meter to the fabricators. What it actually does is it reduces the wastage by less than 1 percent and the fabrication time and effort at the yard is reduced to say by just 30 percent because you get exactly cut length size from our factories with the tolerance level of say 10 mm which is better than what any fabricator can achieve. So the fabricator can just use a plug and play system of selecting a specific size as per their GFC drawing and go on with their fabrication. And what it helps another aspect is a very fast fabrication time and very less inventory required for the fabricator. So a fabricator backed by meticulous planning can only order specific sizes and specific dimensions that is required for their current 10 day or 15 day future plans. Then when these cut to length sizes are procured by a contractor or a fabricator, they just have to do sandblasting, jointing, splicing of end plates and controlled environment paintings. And by the time all these activities are happening, that is fabric manufacturing of tubes at our factories, we have around 11 factories, so basically our sales network is span around India and we are producing more than 10,000 tons every day, so there is no issue of supply of any specific size or supply at any specific given site. So when all these activities of manufacturing at our site and fabrication at a yard is happening, your site is actually doing simultaneous work of groundwork, excavation and foundation, which is not possible with other conventional construction activities. So it saves at least up to 30 percent of your time when two activities at site and factories are going on simultaneously. And then due to our technology which says welded at factory, bolted at site, there is zero percent on-site welding, so no pollution issues, no extra labor issues and no extra inventories and scrap at the site. And this helps in very faster turnarounds of projects which we have already proved by six to seven daily hospitals and a few other major projects. Now this, as you all must be thinking, this tubular construction is not a new thing that we have evolved. It's been a very old subject, but traditionally speaking, these tubes have already been, been used in secondary stainless structure like in a truss or a jaw, columns, bracing and the facade structure. Why they have not been used as a primary sections or the main component has been due to majorly five issues. The one was unavailability of large sizes. Till very near last uh, few months, a few years, traditional manufacturers have been only supplying less than 300 by 300 mm size. Wherein, as I am talking right now, our Raipur factory is still manufacturing larger sizes that are largest in India, 500 mm by 500 mm, up to 20 mm thickness in 450 grade, and they are being uh, transported on a daily basis to Nanavati Hospital in Mumbai, which is currently using that particular product. And by the end of this year, we will be providing 1000 mm by 1000 mm sizes in 40 mm, which will be only the second time in the entire world and obviously first time in India for larger projects and higher capacity projects. Then there were very limited size ranges and these limited size ranges were actually due to dependence on converting a round tube into a rectangle or a square section which we have already erased and we can hypothetically design and manufacture any size that is as per your STAD or ETF files. Then larger MOQs are required wherein APL Apollo we are committed to provide even a smaller range of say 50 to 70 tons of a specific grade and size and we have done that in a very prestigious project of Bangalore airport. I'll just take a minute to tell you that case study. 
Bangalore International Airport's redevelopment was designed by an international consultant called SOM. Tata, Shapurji, Palanji, LNT, all premier companies, they did their reverse engineering for bidding that project. They all considered a specific 70 mm quantity of 250 by 400 size in 450 grade to be procured by China as has been done in entire Southeast Asia and Middle East. When LNT started the construction, they got a lead time of less than, not less than 90 days from a Chinese factory and then around 45 days of logistic times and heavy logistic cost to procure that heavy material. At Raipur, from a Raipur factory, APL was able to deliver 70 tons of that very particular size in just 18 days. And that can be proven by the purchase order date and the supply date that we achieved. So we were able to lower the gap of say five months to just 18 days in providing a specific size. Then high lead time. Obviously when any manufacturer has to first convert a coil into a round tube and then convert it, they have to take extra time. Wherein we have already erased that issue and having 11 factories and 10,000 ton daily capacity across our factories, we have reduced the lead time to less than half to what conventionally has been there. And then the wastage issue. Everybody was quite concerned about using 6, 9 or 12 meter standard tubes and then cutting them at fabrication side. Wherein, as you must have seen in my last to last slide, we have been providing cut to length sizes, which has reduced the fabricator's wastage by less than 1%. As it is, this tube section is just replacing conventional RCC column and beam or conventional PEB HI beams with this hollow structural steel tubes. So its usage is anywhere from a warehouse or a canopy to a high-rise building, hospital, railway station, metro, airport, anywhere. So this is a basic difference between that we have tried to narrate in a small slide of steel tubes versus conventional RCC. Given all parameters equal any RCC building will need at least 24 to 28 days each slab wherein we have already achieved 8 day timeline in doing a single slab in Delhi hospitals because our construction time of creating the frame is very fast and then creating a deck slab is also very fast just we have to attach a 0.9 mm deck sheet and either pour RCC over it or attach mechanically internationally procured certain ready-made deck slab systems. So what we help by reducing this time of say 20 days or 16 days each slab is we might as comparison to RCC look around 150 to 200 rupees square feet costly when we plan for a project. But by these fastest turnaround time we first of all reduce any chances of inflation getting effect on project then the faster turnaround times and faster revenue generation for a project actually increases the RI, IRR by one and a half to two percent. So basically the return of investment for any client or any government is much better when they are using steel. Then uh, these benefits of steel construction in addition to low cost of project. How we say low cost of project when a fabricator is planning to do a steel building or any RCC building they have to plan for their inputs. These are their inventory that they have to keep at their sites. With our cut to length sizes and our ready-made sizes, the inventory requirement for contractor becomes very less and with reduced, say more than 80% of wastage we have reduced from 5-6% to we are less than 1%. So the project cost for any fabricator is reduced and that affects on the cost to the client as well. And then in our construction technology, there are no NGT bands. So you can work your site 24-7, 365 days, which is very good for ju not just our country's environment, but for a project's deliverables and project's timelines. This is a proven fact that construction activities contribute to more than 30% of the pollution. That is why during winters in all major cities, construction is halted for two to three months. By using our steel tubes, we can reduce up to 60% of the carbon emission at a construction site and as a fabrication site. And when, as we told earlier, our project, our technology does not require any welding, any fabrication at site. So it's all done at a controlled environment in the factory. So we reduce any pollution that is caused by construction to up to 60%, which gives you a green points as well as that's our ethical duty also. 
this is a cost comparison that I have already narrated that when we are planning a project on a budget stage, we might look 150 to 200 rupees costlier, but by faster turnarounds and lower wastage as compared to other conventional system, ROIs on our technology actually increases and con contractor and the clients actually happen to earn more when they are using our technologies. Uh, this is uh, a typical case of any construction site wherein uh, we are providing 60% more carpet area. If we talk about any standard grid of 8 by 8.3 mm to 8 by 3 mm, you will require at least 2400 mm size of an RCC column, wherein in our case it can be achieved by just 1200 mm. So we are not just saving a time of doing shuttering doing RCC for a conventional HI beam by providing a hollow beam, we are also actually giving you more carpet area and more clear heights, which in terms of commercialization of any project adds to the ROI of a project. This is again um, an explanation of that thing that by using our technology, 40% less area is covered. So comparing to or say considering the real estate cost of today, of sale of project or the rentals, 40% more area actually adds up to your value. There were certain myths about tubular construction which actually stopped the use of these things. In our technology, we have already reduced, removed those all those myths of bolt, bolt con connection bolts and it has been proven in many projects that connection bolts in our hollow structural teal tube is much easier, much better and they stay much safer as compared to conventional things. Then high material cost increases your overall project cost. Unavailability of bigger size, we have already removed that section while we are producing 500 by 500 for the first time in India and in line for producing a 1000 mm by 1000 mm sizes. So we have reduced that myth or removed that myth of non-availability of higher sizes. Then no fabrication is site. When you must have seen those GTB hospital, when those six hospitals were constructed in Delhi, they were not greenfield project as we say in construction language, they were all extension and expansion of actually ongoing old hospitals. So just imagine an LNJP hospital or a GTB hospital already in a cramped area, congested area, you're using our technology, the space required for any material handling, any stock, any scrap, any extra labor accommodation was almost reduced to less than 50% which helped government to construct that project much better, much easier and much safer. Then using these hollow structural steel tubes, our architectural friends are given a liberty to experiment as good as they can. This is a simple fact that by using these structural hollow tubes, the architectural can, architects can create any type of facades, any type of orientation and shapes of the building. which is proved by the design approved for New Delhi Railway Station. You all must have seen this design. That beautiful architectural design is only possible with hollow steel tubes and that is the reason why when this tender was launched last year, unfortunately due to certain technical commercial reasons, it has been suspended for a few months. But RLD had specifically written in their tender document for faster and lighter construction, hollow steel tubes should be used. And that is a major breakthrough if a department like RLDA and certain IITs and NITs associated with their pre-bid technical solution, they have agreeing on this fact, that's a major breakthrough. These are those six Delhi hospitals which are a proof for any country, any infrastructure industry, hospitals are considered to be the most crucial and supposed to be the most safest buildings. When in Delhi's, India's capital government has decided and they achieved the target, and these are not rendered images, these are all live images of those six projects which were help to our help created within 150 days. And out of these 150 days, the frame or the skeleton which was our scope of work of getting erected, it was done in flat 90 days. This is another major project quite near to this venue of ours. In Shankar Vihar, Indian Army is constructing a major residential complex for paramilitary forces. This particular project is totally been done on our technology and if anybody can pay a visit over there, you will see a difference in the project getting shape in every 10 days. 
Then this is the one of the largest hospital chain that is Max Hospitals. They have acquired Nanavati in Mumbai. So the new building which is coming up next, to, just behind the Heritage Nanavati Hospital, that is totally been designed and currently under construction using our technology. This is a huge building of minus three basement, ground plus 11 floors. Even the basement columns and beams are done on our solution. Then GLA University, Noida, and this, this is a very honorable moment for me to tell you, in the last two and a half years, we, APL Apollo, our designers and our clients, prospective clients, I should say, they have been sending our proposed designs to IIT Rurki and IIT Chennai for vetting. IIT Rurki being the premier more institute was obvi an obvious selection for vetting. IIT Rurki's structural engineering team was so impressed with the optimization and safety standards and fast turnaround expected times of our technology that the currently latest project that has been done in IIT Rurki complex, this is a Mehta school of architecture, artificial intelligence, this is totally being constructed on our technology. So IIT Rurki themselves adopting our technology is a big morale booster for us and a confidence giving thing for the industry. Another university campus in Hyderabad, MIT, they are using our technology. Imphal. Imphal, as you all know, Northeast is a seismic prone area. Construction using conventional methods of taking too much labor, too much construction material at such tedious sites is very a tough scenario. So Assam, this Imphal government, Manipur government has selected our technology and this is a government hospital. And last week we have received order for another private hospital in the same city. So now Northeast governments considering the issues of maintaining high cost of high number of labor and large stocks and longest lead time of a project, they are also considering our technology. And these are certain malls and private. This is another prestigious Indian Oil Corporation corporate tower which is being designed or our technology tender is already out. So I am hopeful in next event with you gentlemen, I might be showing the case study for this project also. And then this is what I was referring about, New Delhi Railway Station. This beautifully architecturally conceptor is only possible using tubes and there must be certain specific reason why RLDA has specifically written and that uh, tender language has been highlighted by blue that for faster and lighter construction, hollow steel tubes can be used. This is a G plus 21 high-rise housing project. See, using these hollow steel tubes, which are lighter in comparison to weight ratio, we can now achieve vertically any heights. And construction of RCC for high-rise tires is much more difficult than using hollow ready-made steel tubes, which are lighter, which are easier to fabricate at site and at fabricate at factory and very easy to just being a plug-and-play bolting system at site. There are certain cases, yeah. And for case of warehouses, Central Warehousing Corporation is currently for last one year using our hollow steel tubes for their truss system and they are very satisfied. This is an oxygen plant. Before giving us these six hospital project, Delhi government wanted to test our technology and we were able to help Delhi government's designated contractor finish this oxygen plant in outer Delhi in flat 12 days. This was a 15,000 square feet plant after the foundation work, civil work was done. Our quick supplies helped the contractor to finish this project in just 12 days. Then these are certain heavy load industrial and warehousing sheds in UP, then in Chhattisgarh. This particular site is around 10 lakh square feet done in record time in just eight months by using our technology at a remote location of Raipur wherein all the fabrication was done in Delhi, Faridabad and sent to there. Even considering the long time of logistics, we were able to help the client construct this huge 10 lakh square feet building in just 8 to 10 months. These are certain tubular buildings globally, which shows that tubular construction is not a new concept. In fact, developed countries and fast construction requiring countries have been using this for ages now. This slide again says why there have not been many steel buildings in India till date. The reasons I have tried to explain in the past, they were high cost, India is a high cost sensitive market and by using the optimization used in our technology, 
and by reducing the wastage, reducing the amount of inventory required, we have re almost neglected this part of high cost. Then in India actually pro project deadlines in, actually in past have never mattered. Now the government and the system is very strict on strict guidelines and ac accurate guidelines of completing our projects are technically only possible by using these PEB structures. Then these are certain international airport designs which uh, have shown that architecturally beautiful designs, complex designs are only possible using this technology. And this is just a small slide about my company. We are a leading steel tube brand. We have around 14 sub brands in four categories, around 55% market share. And uh, this slide is around two months old. In current, uh, our financial records have been proven that more than 58% of steel tube market share is now with our company. We have been producing 2.6 million tons annually till last financial year. This year, considering the first two months, by the end of this year, we'll be producing around 4 million tons of steel tubes annually. We were the first to introduce structural steel square and rectangular hollow sections. We were the first to introduce pre-galvanized structural steel tubes, GP tubes. We were the first to introduce and still date, till date, we are the first ones who are using this DFT direct foaming technology, which reduces lead time, reduces the weight of the sections and provides any size, any dimension of our tubes. Then we were the first to introduce 300 by 300 mm size tubes. Currently we are manufacturing and supplying 500 by 500 mm size, which is the only second or third company in the world. And by the end of this year, we will be the second country in the world to produce and supply a thousand mm by thousand mm tubes. We are also providing other architectural and building products like thick and heavy color coated sheets, which are, which can be used at railway yards, which can be used at railway warehouses. We were the first one to do this tubular building structure complete in Delhi using these uh, hospitals. And by the end of this year, as I've been uh, very proudly repeating, we will be providing in addition to 500 by 500, 1000 mm by 1000 mm size. So now our architects and our structural consultants can actually dream and design about going vertically high rise and creating heavy big structures. This is, this is just a glimpse of how we actually achieve this DFT. If you can see on the last graphic, we just have to insert in our machine, which is around 250 to 300 meter long automated machine. We have to insert a coil of specific grade and thickness and specific width. And then this machine takes on time in converting that coil into a desired shape of rectangular or, hall or square tube in a cold form method. And even the controlled welding is done inside the machine and a 12 meters ready-made tube with welded side on a smaller size, which is preferred by a consultant, comes out of the tube. And by using this DFT, our turnaround time of converting one, de changing one design to other design is just limited to few hours. So within getting the right procurement of steel coil, we can actually produce any number of tubes in 24 to 48 hours, which is the fastest at present in India. So gentlemen, Thank you a lot and thanks to the organizers for giving us this opportunity. If you have any queries, I'll welcome them.